Welcome to another episode of In Bass We Trust. I'm your host, the Bass Loopman. Sit down and relax while I talk to you about the fascinating universe of the bass guitar. Okay, shall we begin? I think so. Without further ado, here is the new episode. Enjoy your listening experience. The Rickenbacker bass was first created in the early 1930s by George Beecham and Adolf Rickenbacker. Beecham, a musician and inventor, had been experimenting with electric instruments and came up with the idea for a frying pan lap steel guitar, which he called the Pagan. Rickenbacker, a businessman, saw the potential in Beecham's invention and provided the funding to mass produce it under the company name Electro String Instrument Corporation. In the early days of the company, the Rickenbacker bass was not originally called the Rickenbacker bass, it was called Frying Pan Bass. The first electric guitar was designed in 1931 to amplify the lap steel guitar he used to play Hawaiian music through a radio. The prototype hangs in the Rickenbacker office. It was made from wood from a backyard fence and in a way the company hasn't strayed far from that backyard. The pickups in the early guitars worked similarly to how a telephone can translate sound waves across electric lines. Instead of a membrane between magnets, as with telephones, the guitar has a string. This minor difference kept Rickenbacker from receiving its patent as soon as the company would have liked. The original patent was filed in the early 1930s and took several revisions to be accepted. The US Patent Office might not have known whether the frying pan was electronics or an instrument, but musicians did, and toward the end of the Great Depression, electric guitar companies began to spring up around the nation. The guitars made by Beecham and Rickenbacker were on the cutting edge of the electrified instruments. The era also saw the rise of Fender guitars, which originated in Fullerton as early as 1938. The two companies are linked at the roots since Leo Fender repaired Rickenbacker amps in his radio repair shop, and one of the owners of Fender, Francis C. Hall, bought Electro String in 1953. Hall's family runs Rickenbacker today. The frying pan bass was not a commercial success. They rebranded it as the Rickenbacker Bass, the name of the company, which was more successful. The Rickenbacker Bass was among the first electric basses to be produced in the United States and was used by many well-known bassists of the time, including Carol Kay and Bill Black of Elvis Presley's band. In 1957, Rickenbacker introduced the first combo bass, which combined the features of a traditional bass and a guitar. The design was later refined, and the 4001 model was introduced in 1961. This model, with its distinctive, cresting wave body shape, became an iconic design and is still in production today. The shapes of Rickenbacker guitar heads and bodies are protected by trademark. The Rickenbacker bass has been used by many famous musicians over the years, including Paul McCartney, Geddy Lee of Rush, and Chris Squire of Yes. The bass' unique sound, playability, and iconic design have made it a favorite among bass players for decades. Players who have used Rickenbacker basses include Paul McCartney of The Beatles, Lemmy Kilmister of Motorhead, Cliff Burton of Metallica, Roger Glover and Glenn Hughes of Deep Purple, Paul Wilson of Snow Patrol, Bruce Foxton of The Jam, Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, James Dean Bradfield of Manic Street Preachers, Phil Lynott of Thin Lizzy, Chris Squire of Yes, Geddy Lee of Rush, Al Cisneros of Sleep and Om, Paul Damore of Tool, and Rick James and Kevin Parker of Tame Impala. In describing the Rickenbacker guitar, John Hall, the Rickenbacker chairman and CEO, said, We're a lot like a Porsche on a road of Chevys and Toyotas. We have limited supply and high quality, but are not a boutique type, like Rolls-Royce. Let me thank you for your visit. Meanwhile, you could take a minute to listen to my music on SoundCloud. 
Stay tuned for the next episode of InBase, we trust. Have a good day. Stay curious, open and creative. Bye-bye.